Hey, so this is video 8 of Div 4. Um, left off right here. I was about to talk about um, how if we... Oh. If we run this... You see how it looks right here? 6, 15, 2011, separated by uh, uh, slashes, division symbols. Um, if we look at what we want, which I'll show you mine real quick, maybe. Um, mine is 1028s. Um, this one right here shows uh, this was journal voucher for 613, this one was for 614, and this one was for 615. And I first had it set up so it would be all three at once, but that didn't work. It only read the uh, first one, or first, yeah, first one. It's only read 615. But uh, then I changed it up so that I could just do the one that's on the page instead of all of them at once. So then it did six set it up so it could do 614 next and then 613 and you can see it you can do it immediately it's you know 44 minutes after the hour 44 minutes after the hour it's pretty quick uh, to uh, you know, send it uh, let's see um, but if you look at it you know we don't want the slashes and we also want it so that it's you see how it says uh, yeah let's look at this 2011 is not in the right place. The 06 isn't in the right place, and the 14th or 15th or whatever isn't in the right place. You know, the year, month, day is all out of order. The um, you know, slashes we don't want those at all. All that kind of stuff. So uh, we need to somehow break this up and put it into this order that we want, based on this format that we know um, that it's always going to be in the date format that it's always going to be in. Um, so let's go ahead and exit out of this, uh, come back into here. And what I usually use in programming to do this is a, um, actually let's see, what is it called? It's uh, it's regex, but um, let me get the, uh, if I have it somewhere around here. Ah. So imports, okay. So if you go and type this in, right there, imports uh, system.text.regular expressions. Go and use that as your import. And now you can start using this thing called uh, regex. So we just go ahead and uh, say dim, parse state. And it's something so you can like parse a uh, string or, yeah, just a string basically, um, as string. And it's going to, parse it into an array of strings. So we do a parenthesis so it's a string array. And then we're going to go ahead and say uh, equals regex. I don't think I started this thing. No, I didn't. So let's see how much time we have. Um, oops. Uh, uh. 230 to 60. So 11 is pretty good. Whoa, not that kind of 11. That's better. Okay. Now, um, yeah, so regex, um, dot split, um, and the string that we're splitting is journal, which is the date, uh, the selected combo box date, you know. Um, comma, uh, I think that's the type of slash we want, and, uh, yep, and then, um, so now we just split it up, and now we're going to say, we're going to try to get this into a nice, um, or we're going to actually, uh, write this line of code, we're going to write this right here, JV enterprise ID with the date that we want. So let's go and do that. Let's uh, see, um, send text. So we're going to add to the send text thing we're doing. Uh, plus equals 
uh, JV star uh, asterisk star plus enterprise ID whoops uh, plus another star so we break it and then uh, plus we're gonna do parse date two because um, the first one what we want to show is the year and if you look at your um, you know was, uh, if we look at your uh, we run this real quick actually if you look at it uh, you know it's month day year so zero one two is what it looks like in the array um, and if we actually actually let's do something nice let's uh, go to the design a button just for temporary purposes. You don't even need to rename if you don't want, but yeah, you know, BT and temp. How about that? It's uh, uh, temp. Oh, yeah. Double click it. Message box dot show and have it be uh, get journal string. Okay, now if we uh, click a breakpoint right there. Let's see what this looks like. 615 temp um, parse date. You see parse date right now? It parsed it and it says 615 2011. So we can use this array right here to uh, build the string that we want. So it's month, day, year. So 2 is the year. So parse date year is first because that's what we want uh, up here. We want year first and then the month and then the day. So let's go ahead and do that. We do parse date par, uh, and parse date uh, yeah, one. And that's just the order that we want it in. Yeah. Now we're going to stop debugging. And then uh, do a new line by doing uh, the v VBC RLF. I didn't do it right. <laughs> Plus equals. Yeah. And nope. None of that. Okay. And then uh, you did a new line, so we got to do not lines plus equal one. And then uh, now we need to do a for each statement. So for each. Uh, so used to. Uh, SQL, or uh, no, so used to C sharp. Uh, so for each item, this is what we're going to do right here. We're going to actually go through the list box of items. So let me show you. Uh, display JV, when you select 615, let's say, this list box of items, we want to go through each and every single one of these items. Okay. So that's what, we're, that's what the for each statement is doing for us. It's going to go through each and every single one of these items for us. So exit out. And so for each. Whoa. Yeah. So for each item as string, because it's a string in a, in a list box, each item is a string. And the uh, you know, LBL journal is the name of the list box. And we're going to go through the items, which is the, you know, the items. Uh, and then say next, or it's going to give you a next actually. And um, then you're going to say uh, dim tokens as string. Uh, because basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to um, take that s take that item and we're going to break it up. We're going to break it up based on uh, spaces. Because if you see Go ahead and show you again. Huh. Should probably just copy and or print screen it. Um, let me just print screen it and uh, there we go. So you see how it's um, it's the ledger ID separated by a space, and then you get the thing that you want there. You get the uh, number, the cost, or the uh, the, you know, the money. Um, so separated by a space, we can use that to our advantage, that space. 
and call it, we could have also said split it at number four since we know that every ledger ID is going to be four digits. But um, yeah, it's just as easier for us to do space, I think. A little bit, oh, yeah, doesn't really, yeah, it's a little easier. So string uh, equals um, reg, we're going to do the same thing, regex dot split item comma space. So now it's going to break it up into um, the space is going to be the breaker upper. Um, we're going to do another for each statement. This nested uh, loop, I guess, basically. Uh, for each token as uh, string n tokens. Um, this going to give us another next uh, statement. And so this is going to say for each um, broken up piece and the tokens list of strings uh, yeah for each do it do this for each of them so now we're going to go ahead and uh, see let's first set up an, an indexed so we can uh, actually edit the actual or um, yeah, edit the actual uh, list tokens instead of just the uh, Instead of editing this token, we're gonna actually edit the token, uh, the item that's actually in this tokens list. If that makes any sense, doesn't probably doesn't make any sense. Um, but basically, we're just gonna say index equal or as integer equals array dot index of the list or the array, and then the item token. And now we're gonna say uh, if uh, let's see. Actually, let's see what it looks like first. Let's see. Uh, login, display JV, temp. Oh, cannot be null. Oh, yeah. yeah. We didn't even select anything. Run it again. This time, make it work. 15, temp. Comes to here. Look, 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 at, the, look at the tokens. So we have 1,000, a blank, nothing, not even a space, it's just nothing. And then 2750.08 with parentheses. We don't want the parentheses, we want a negative symbol. We don't want the decimal, we don't. We just don't want the decimal. Uh, we don't want this, we do want this though. So we need to transform this thing somehow. So let us exit out of that. Now that we know that it's... 0, 1, 2, and we want the 0, and we want the 1, or we want the 2, not the 1. Uh, we could just say one way to do it is, you know, if not tokens uh, index uh, equals nothing. Cause that's what that, that, uh, that, uh, that second, uh, the, the, in, the, the, um, Second index, I guess, of the array. Um, there's another way. There's other ways to do this. You could just say that you want the zero and you want the two of the array. You do that too, but uh, this is just another way to do it. Um, so it's not that. Then let's go ahead and do something here. Let's uh, see if it's the negative. If it's a negative number. So if it's negative, we're gonna. It could be not negative. It could be positive, but. Uh, Basically, if it's negative, it's going to be that money thing. So we're going to say index uh, dot contains maybe and parentheses. Then we're going to do something. Can do it end. It's going to do it then for us. Um, then uh, forty-two seconds. Then we're going to go ahead and say um, tokens index equals tokens index dot replace uh, parentheses take it out we don't want it we don't want the closing parentheses and I'm gonna do one more Let's see tokens index equals tokens index dot replace now we're gonna do the open parentheses but we don't want to just take it out, we want to convert it to a negative symbol. That's that's what we want to do. Um, 
And that's that for that. The timer's done. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and shut this down then. Continue with the next video from where I left.